music beep anyway good morning so today we're gonna be playing more starbound we'll start by finishing off the bottom of the ship so that we can um actually you know have crewmates <laughs> but uh other than that it'll be fine so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do as much as i can and then i will take I'll basically do the reverse of what I did to make sure that and knock on wood Stu's still in that room so I don't have to constantly keep chasing him around um our our, our pet by the way for those who are not aware uh, but uh yeah yep that's that's the current you know everything it'll be fine all right okay everything is fine and dandy but yeah other than that i don't really have much in the way of plans and also i double checked i will not or i will be live on monday uh because basically long and short of it was i needed to check when we needed to leave compared to when i normally had stream we will be fine so I will be live on Monday. No problem there. Alrighty. But I will say, uh, forewarning, October is going to be kind of insane. Um, so I'm going to be... I will let you know the day specifically that I'm gone. But I will be away for a fairly decent chunk of October. Because uh, basically... What of my brother's in law has a wedding. Then we have a vacation. And I think we might even have one other thing somewhere in there. But yeah. <sighs> October's gonna be stressful. But hey, it's fine. It'll it'll be fine. Alrighty, lovely, beautiful. And I will, you know, make sure to drop plenty of pictures uh, of the vacation for you guys. But we shall see. Alrighty, getting ready to switch here in a second. Doom. Doom. Alright, lovely. Beep bop. Yep, that works. Start game. Thank you. Okay. Nope, he's over here. I kind of had a feeling. Hey, little dude. I need you to move. Hey. Buddy. Come on. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Not you, Sale. Hey, buddy, buddy. Hey, pal. Well, actually. Oh, nope, he's awake now. No, sir. Just in case we do that. Okay, I think he can't get out from there. I think we're square. I hope we're square. Anyway. Alrighty. What was I... Okay. I'll, I'll do the things once we... Uh... Okay. First and foremost, let me pull these up. I'm also going to place one more little blip of dirt down just to try and prevent him from going anywhere I don't want him to. Alright, lovely. Because once we finish this, I will double check, but we should be perfectly fine to have him and then, by that measure, also have other crewmates. Because we won't have to go around the outside anymore. All right, lovely. Very, very good. Oh, hang on, I need to go grab his house. Sorry, little dude. There you go. All righty, good, good. Also, it's not out yet, but I have a clip of a song stuck in my head by the person who played Aphrodite in God Games from the... 
Oh, brain cell. Come on. Uh, from Epic the Musical. Uh, I believe it's called the Royal We. But, uh, it's basically comparing a horrible toxic relationship to the fall of Troy and stuff. And, oh my god, y'all. Dude, it's so fucking good. Like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now then. Let's go ahead and start placing back the lights. Alrighty. Very good. But again, let me go check and make sure that everything is solid up here. Yep. That's good. Hang on. I'm gonna double triple check. Yes. I'm just making sure that there's nowhere that I'm going to need to potentially go that will require... Oh, well, shit. Hang on. Uh, let me bump this up slightly. But, uh, the song is called The Royal We, and it's been stuck in my head all fucking morning. All right, here we can actually bump it down a little bit. Okay, very good. But yeah, one of the specific lines that's uh, like really ingrained in my head right now is how one of the comparisons that's being made is uh, that they basically are like talking about how the the main through line is uh, that I almost forgot that before I met you I was free. Let my walls or <laughs> yes, let my walls come down. Then Troy was breached. Uh, now I'm passing all my dreams through the king and queen. I used to fight for me, but now I use the royal we, or something along that line. Um, and just the, the... Oh, God, man. It's... It, it, it's fucking good, dude. <laughs> and again, I don't know, like... How much of it is going to stay the way it was in the... Official version, but I think it's releasing, like, October 4th or 5th. But yeah, it shit's good, man. Shit's real good. All right, lovely. Okay, just in case we don't accidentally want to knock that booster flame off, because it would be a pain in the ass trying to get it back. All righty, lovely. Because I'm already, like, mentally trying to make the decision on whether or not I actually want to go grab all the dirt from this. Because I don't remember when slash if things disappear. I know they do, I just can't remember how to get it to happen. Because honestly, I probably will just let it, you know, stay down there until it vanishes. Because I really don't give a shit. But, my concern is it causing lag. But I think, honestly, it'll disappear after a bit anyway, so it's no big deal. Alrighty. I do need to remember to put down the... Uh, bookcases, so let me go ahead and do that. Lovely, beautiful. Okay, all right. Very, very good. Beep, 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 beep. All righty, lovely. Almost there, my loves.
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Almost done. And we don't need to worry about uh, these anymore. I'll probably... Ah, shit. Oh. Uh, of course. Um, shit. Hang on, I need to pull up this one block. Just so I can get... Oh, uh, one more. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now then... Let's tidy that up. Because I was about to say I'm going to do that, so it's a little nicer. And then I realized I was going to have to do a little more. Okay, anyway. We now have the bottom of the ship fully done, so we can free him. And then we can go grab a couple of crewmates. Alright, and again, they're probably going to be a pain in my ass. I don't give a shit. I just want them out of the fucking thing. And I want to have healing on the ship, okay? Uh, oh, I need to put down his house. Hang on. Sorry, little dude. Hang on. Alright, very good. Let's go get us some crewmates. Alrighty. Yep, it's a lamplight with us. Alrighty. Very cool. Very cool. I think I want to take the... Kaiteran Medic. Which I believe is this one right here. Alrighty. Buddy, pal. Alrighty, cool, cool. Alright. Yep, that's good. Okay, let me go ahead and put down the colony deed. You're okay. You're kinda cute. Okay, and then... I'm going to go back to the ship just to, you know, get it to load in again. You found your first crew member. Talk to me on your ship to manage crew members to monitor their status. So now I can explain some of this better now that we have a crewmate. Uh, so, if you hit E on them, see how he has a sword now? That means he will follow me around even to another planet. Ah, no, come back. You have to hit E on them again to get them to stay. So, yeah. Some of them are more obvious than others. Uh, soldiers and barbar- Or... All the ones that you hire that are purely combat-based, which there are several, um, if I recall, they still hold their weapons no matter what, so they're a little harder to tell. But, uh, if you go over to Sail here, down in Crew... You'll be able to click them, see their job, and this is where you can dismiss them if you want. Uh, but yeah, so medics will, you can already see it, provide healing when you're on your ship. Uh, then, tailors, let me go grab one. I just need to pick which one. Because there's that Saturnium one that's really cute, who's also been there for ages. Uh... And the Pylodal. I think I'm probably going to grab the Saturnian. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Oh, well, it's the wrong floor anyway, so. Uh, well, and I, I'll show you an example, but, uh, tailors are, like, the exception to the rule when it comes to interacting with them will make them, you know, want to follow you onto a planet, because you need to interact with tailors in order to do their job. 
Okay. Oh my god, you're a little horrified. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. That's okay. <laughs> I look a little horrified too. Alrighty. Now then. Where are you, bud? There you are. Yes, you are. Okay, hang on. Let's go down here. To make my life a little easier. Hey, bud. Okay, so you hit E. Sure. They will match whatever you're wearing, just in their own uh pattern pattern color coding that's the word i was looking for all righty now then let's go ahead and put away our blocks because we have a lot of them all right lovely put those away for right now okay i'm gonna trash that Add that, as well as that. Okay, cool. Materials is over here, I believe, yes. That could go in there. Why do I have... Okay, I don't know what was missing there, but it's all right. All right, so then, let's go over to the teleshop. Because we should have a valid upgrade of a license now. Although I think it's just automatically upgraded even though he's like... Okay, never mind. I don't need it, he's just selling random shit. Okay, gotcha babe. Uh, well, let's go finish out this portion of Esther's quest. Obviously we're not gonna... Um... How do I phrase it? We're not gonna do the high level quest for a little bit because it kind of irritates me. And I'd like to get a much better stockpile of healing items before we do that. That was the last clue we needed to find the high local artifact. Wonderful work, dear. From what you found, it seems the high local artifact is cloistered deep beneath the ocean in a place called the Grand Pagoda Library. The library is very ancient, and it should be an interesting place to visit. Yep, gotcha. I have received coordinates for the Grand Pagoda Library. Use the ship computer to access the location. Thank you, Sale. All right, I do want to go up and see what I need for upgrades for my things here. All right, lovely. What are you... Okay, I guess that technically reaches through. That's a little odd. Okay, I will need Dura Steel, which is going to be our next one, so I don't have anything... Okay, that's already finished. That also needs Dora Steel. Dora Steel. Titanium. Okay. So, six titanium. Six silver. And six copper bars. Which we already have five. So, let's do that. Uh, but, but, right, I put everything away. Okay. Oop, hang on. Oh, a spear I will never use. Hooray, goodbye. Okay, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Silver. Titanium. Copper. I only need to make one of that. Alright, ah! Okay, copper, and then six of each. All right, lovely, lovely. Upgrade that. So that's fully upgraded, that's nice, wonderful. All right, very good. Da -da 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 -da. Do I have any better doors to work with? Not really. Oh, well. And I might do one of these slanted doors, depending for the back of the ship, but I haven't decided yet. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything crazy yet, anyway. Okay, that's fine. And then what about you, bud? Yeah, I figure. Okay, what do I need for this? Okay, I need six titanium, four copper. Because I usually like to have the next EPP before I do the mission. Don't ask me why, I just do. Six titanium, four copper, and one venom sample. And obviously the Enviro pack. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't played this game before, you and you have an augment on your Enviro pack, it will be destroyed when you upgrade your thing. There is no way around it unless you have a mod. Uh, so just be aware of that. Collect multiples. Okay. Okay, thank God. So I was about to be like, please tell me I don't. Or I have a venom sample. And that is why I collect the light augments. For this exact reason. Ah, let me up. Okay. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong. No, well, also still wrong. Okay, I need six titanium. I need four copper. And then we're good, I think. Okay, lovely. Now then, go ahead and put it back on. Take your new look. And I'll, proof of concept, there is no augment. Go ahead and right click, and you're good. Alrighty, very good, very good. But yeah, unless you use a mod, and even if you did, I wouldn't know a mod to recommend. Uh, there is no way to get the light, your augments back where they quote unquote need to go. Or off of the thing, however you want to phrase it. Where's my coal? Did I really use all of my fucking coal? Okay. Well, I guess we know something else we're looking for. Because, again, I'm almost certainly not going to do the mission today. Because I don't want to. Uh, did I put away... E yes, but it's weird. Okay, cool. Better. All right. On our way. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's go to this tundra planet. I always get distracted, uh, but for those who are unawares, your ship will always be in green. Um, you can see that. I don't know if there's a way to change the specific color it will be, but it will always bare minimum be green. Okay, lovely. I just get confused because I'm a fool. But that's okay. Alrighty, lovely. I have plenty of these trees, so I'm not going to bother collecting them. Alrighty. Hey, pals. Okay, good night. Up and over. Excuse you. Hi, you... I can't tell if that bird was nice, but he scared me, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. Ow! Forgot how loud that was. Didn't even hurt that much, it was just loud and scared me. Alright, lovely. Okay, there we go. Are you nice? Okay, cool. I wasn't sure because I walked by one earlier, but I couldn't tell if it saw me or not. Alright, let's get us, um, oopsies. I'm not gonna take everything because I don't want to potentially drop down in front of that creature. Alright, let's go ahead and swap these around. Alright, lovely. You know what, I bet I used it when I was, uh, making die. Sorry, little dude, I don't even know if you were mean. I was just going after that thing. Because I know that thing's mean. Ah, you motherfucker. Fine. Do this the annoying way. 
All right, up and over. That's a big tree. Uh, are we going out to a village? Yeah, kind of. Uh, don't really care. Uh, we could take this SCP. Sure, might as well. Oh, shit, I still have the things on me. I'll need to move those. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what you got, bud? Hey. Okay, fine. Alright, hop, skip it, and jump over here. Yes, please. Alrighty, let's see. What else we got? Shit. Hey, bud. I just need to sell you some shit. These. Lovely, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, what else do we got? Alrighty. Not a ton of chests. But also, nothing to sneeze at either. Alright, sure, sure. Good lord, the music. Alrighty. Grab that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Alright. Okay, you are nice. Cool, cool. Gotcha. Oh, good lord. Alright, very good. Okay, up and away we go. Hey, bud. Usually you don't get a lot of those guys on the surface. It's kind of interesting that there's so many out and about. Like, it's not impossible, it's just not very common. Anyway, it's fine. Alrighty. Thankfully I didn't take any damage there, even though I feel like I definitely should have. Oh, okay, well. Fine. Yeah, sometimes these structures manifest like this. Get out of here. Get out of here. Lovely. I shall take that. Thank you. Nope. But I don't really care about the rest of it. I am going to scan this, though. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I've ever had a snowy background that looked quite like that before. That's interesting. Ow! Fucking hell. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to get that scanned. Okay, lovely. Now that we're done being beset upon by our, uh, Oh, this is an Avali grave. Sometimes they have good stuff, but like, yeah, most of the time it's the data chip things. Alright, anyway, it's fine. Oh, hello. That was very nearly a thing. Uh, no. I mean, it's cute, but no. But again, this will look silly, but we will not be taking it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pop skip it to jump out of there. Alright, very good. Robin... I was going to say, those things are mean, but they can only shoot directly above them. 
so you should be fine as long as you don't like mess with them too much. Alrighty, lovely. And they're not terribly fast either, so... Ah, where was I going? I looked away for two seconds. Oh well, it's fine. On our way. Hey, buddy. Okay, well, we found the mean bird. Hey, buddy. Alright, good, good. Good, good, good. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, buddy. Cute little dinosaur. Ow. Yeah, those things are mean, too. Good morning. Being beset upon by creatures. Alrighty, lovely. Howdy, everyone, howdy. Hope everyone's doing well. Alright, lovely, beautiful. Up and over we go. Alrighty. Hello, Mr. Alpaca. Alright, let me scan that. This, however, I believe is an avian table, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, yes, the spike ball can climb walls specifically. The aqua ball, or sphere can float on water. The spike ball can climb walls. And I've never used the sonic sphere, but I'm presuming it goes fast. And you can switch between them after you unlock them. So, like... You know, depends on what you're doing, where you're going. Alrighty, lovely. Uh, hey guys. Oopsies, ow. Okay, where are you? There you are, bud. There we go. Much better. Honestly, it's something that I am always impressed with. With Starbound, is just like the way that they render their planets is just like Chef's Kiss. You know, it's perfect. Pick that up so we can. Okay, apparently we've already seen it, but that's fine. Again, I'll scan this and that, but not this, because I, like I said, I think that's an avian table. And I don't like scanning things before their mission. Alrighty, lovely. Because if you get to the point where you still have a, ow, a little bit to scan, and you've been scanning everything... Like, it gets that away real fast. Okay, anyway. Because then you have to track down, like, the one singular thing that you haven't scanned before. Which is always... fun. Ah, come on. Up and over. Good lad. Oh, hello. I definitely should have taken damage there, but I'm not going to question it. Alrighty, lovely. What you got? Just a boulder. Ooh, interesting. Oh, hello, evil bird. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, hi, little. We already have their stuff, but it's nice to scan it anyway. Alright, lovely. What do we got? Pretty sure I have that? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Very true, very true. Alright, lovely. Let's see. I already have that, apparently. I just... I don't even know why I started closing the doors. I knew I wasn't going to care that much. Alright, lovely. And now we can technically start doing quests, because now that our, the bottom of our ship is finished, we don't have to worry about, um... Uh... 
our crewmates walking off into the void. I will not do that, however. And I already have the most important one, so... That side, I don't want that. Alright, lovely. You want most important ones to be. No. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. But yeah, we have our medic and we have our tailor because I had some left over from previous runs at the colony. Alright, lovely. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that should be the end of the village. Okay, I think there's a structure down here. Yes. Hello, fish. Ow. Yeah, I kind of figured you would hit me. Alright, let's see. I'll take that. I shall take these. I'll just kind of look at it. I don't really like... Again, I'm very, very particular about the weapons I like. I only like short swords. Alright, lovely. Cool, cool beads. I'll leave them alone in there. And we're back around to the start. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. All right. Off we go. I said off we go. Thank you. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, these two. Ah, get down there. I just happened to pick two Saturnians because I like them better. All right. Let's go ahead and put away. Oh, no way. We didn't get any books out of that. But yeah, we still have stuff to finish on the back of the ship, but the actual like full exterior that's connected is all finished but yeah so like the outlines are all finished it's just these interior things here on the back that i need to do but i just needed a break from looking at everything anyway it's fine it's all fine and dandy we also still need to pick up another candle for that particular table all right lovely Thank you, thank you. Uh, da -da. I don't really want to mess with the ocean right now. Because I don't have my Aquasphere, and it just seems like it'd be annoying. Alrighty. Very, very good. And obviously this won't have titanium, but it's fine. Because, yeah, th this will tell you the ore that's on a planet, other than, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Because, basically, w what I do with the dirt is I'll use it to sketch things out, um, so that I know where I want to put stuff in the future. But, yeah, it looks very silly, currently. Alrighty. And I will, I, I do need to replenish my hole because I used a bunch of it recently, so ah that was a little terrifying. Hey, there we are. Ah, easy, easy now. I definitely should have taken damage there. Oh Saransaur, I was actually gonna wonder. It's not guaranteed Oh man, you're an augment sales Saransaur, question mark, whatever the hell you are. But none of the augments I would want. Hello, Pyro. We finished the flooring, so we actually hired some crewmates. Because now the ship is... At least its exterior is done. Alright, lovely. So we hired... For those who have been watching me play this for a while... Uh, the two kite... Or, uh, Saturnians that were a tailor and a medic, so the Kyteran and the normal Saturnian. Alrighty, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. Okay, give me that. There's still some interior walls that need placing, but like, all the exterior stuff's done. Hey girl, what you got? Eh, nothing I care about. Take that. 
All righty, lovely. I'll leave that alone because I don't want to deal with pulling up the cactus there. There we go. Very good. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hey, bud. Come here. Ah, shit. Okay. Cool. I guess we're going this way. All right. Lovely. Lovely, beautiful. Oh, hello. Let's get around this so that we don't accidentally destroy it. I'd rather not do that. Oh, skipping a jump up here. Uh, I'll use this just to heal. And, ooh, yes, please. Thank you. All right, on our way. On our way. Careful now. I will definitely take that, because there's a decent amount of coal there. And I'm past the point where I really heavily use coal, so it's fine. Um, I still really don't want to go through here, if I'm being real with you. Alright, let's... Hey, buddy. Out of here. There we go. Good lad. Uh, the plan is just to go around planets, stockpile our healing items, uh, potentially do quests now that we have crewmate stuff, and I might read, will probably uh, mess with more of the ship later. Because I would like to work on getting those interior walls finished. Um, now that I have, you know, everything on the outside finished and whatever. But, we'll see. I uh, don't really need any of that, but I will pick that up to look at it. Nope, not doing bounty quests. I'm done with that bullshit. I am sick and tired of bounty quests. Alright, lovely. Yeah, I think I'll have these as decorations on the high portion of the ship. Because they're cool. But I will pick this up, just because I think it's neat, and it should give me rest- well, never mind. Oh, happily mock me for it. I won't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not fucking doing that. It is annoying. Alright, well, ow. Alright, loverly. Cool, 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 up and away we go. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright, loverly. They aren't that bad, but I don't like it. And I'm not determined enough to, you know, try. Oops, somebody must have a quest that involves somebody spawning in because I heard that. Alrighty, lovely. Uh, no, we can't. Alright. Sure, I'll take the tungsten. Some of this is glitch stuff, so I will leave it alone. Lo or, well, could be glitch stuff. So I'll leave it alone, like the cart and stuff. Uh, don't know why that's not making any sound. Okay, well now it is. Alright, lovely. Very, very good. Hey, buddy, what you got? Okay, I think that's the person I heard scan. Sca 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 Beam down? I, I don't know what word I was trying to get. Okay, cool. Doesn't matter. Let's go grab this person. Alrighty, loverly. Hey, buddy. Okay, there we go. You two do your business. Okay, yep. I can deliver that.
pretty much, I guess. But yeah, now that we can actually have crew members, I don't mind doing quests. Alright, where's your friend? There you are. Okay, where's your buddy who gave me the quest? Pal. Damn it, you want to be a janitor. You're not cool enough. Sorry. I mean, he is cool, but like, especially for a ship where the crew really doesn't matter. Well, now it's broken again. Alright, let's see what we got up here. That one looks like my uh, Nova kid that I play as, like Dakota. Alright, lovely. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, we'll happily take that. Let me go ahead and open this. I uh, don't want that at all. Alright, love. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded weird. Alrighty. Oh, hang on. Let me go ahead and do that. Since I had a little teeny sliver of health missing. Okay. Never invited Nova Kid to tea. So, uh, explanation about Nova Kid Codex is kind of a misnomer. Nova Kid almost invariably cannot. It's not so much that they can or cannot read or write, which is generally true, but it's more so that they just don't record any of their history. Uh, which is a very in-game universe explanation of this was a Kickstarter species that we didn't put any, you know, extra uh, codex stuff into. Uh, but, generally speaking, things are not written by Nova Kid, they are written about Nova Kid. Anyway, uh, this one's actually from a high Lodal. My dear Itsuki, I write this letter to you from the remains of my camp. It appears that missionary work is more difficult than I anticipated. Despite the training we received, I was woefully underprepared for creatures such as these. The morning began as peacefully as one could expect on an uncivilized planet like this. Nonetheless, it was chosen so that I may spread high little peace to the less fortunate, so I was determined to rough it. I placed my tea atop a gentle flame and eased myself into morning meditation as per usual. However, I could hardly achieve a state of enlightenment for the cacophony that soon assaulted my ears from beyond a hill. After a calming breath, I set out to investigate. A brief hike to the top of the hill revealed two alien life forms, shining like beacons, each with a marking atop their face. It's an iron... It, it's basically the only actual physical thing. For those who know Steven Universe, it's their equivalent of their gem. But it's an iron brand, is what it's usually referred to as. A search through my xenobiological handbook re revealed these to be Novakid, a primitive gaseous species. The two glowing blue and yellow respectively whooped and hollered as one strummed a guitar, creating some semblance of music. What, spe what, what better specimens to enlighten than these creatures, thought I. Well, that was your first mistake. That you thought people needed enlightenment. I strode down the hill. They seemed wary of me, but I assured them I meant no harm. I introduced myself in customary fashion, and they returned with their names. The blue one, Bonnabelle. The yellow, Nim. They possessed a most ridiculous accent. Nim extended his hand, and I, assuming it was a customary greeting, reached out a response. The savage shook my hand with vigor that nearly toppled me. The whole exchange was quite uncouth. Determined to civilize these ruffians, <laughs> I invited them to tea as tradition dictates. They seemed very excited at the prospect, and eagerly followed me back to my camp. My tea boiled, and as I prepared the proper settings, the Nova Kid perused my camp. There was not a single ornament that they were not curious about, their filthy hands touching all of my perfectly aligned furnishings. They shattered my favorite coral sculpture. Who brings a sculpture camping? Uh, nevertheless, I knew I could enlighten them. Over tea, I spoke about opening their third eye to the world, and they seemed to barely pay attention. The tea I served was my finest blend, but after a single sip, they dropped my cups, shattering them on the floor. I struggled to remain calm as Bonnebelle removed a jug of some liquid and passed it between herself and Nim. Perhaps I can earn their trust by partaking in this cultural tradition, I thought. <laughs> after hesitation, they allowed me the jug. Maybe they're warming up to my teachings after all. Those thoughts faded away after I lifted the jug to my mouth. 
The drink burned down through my throat, and after one sip, I fell unconscious. When I awoke, Bonabel and Nim were gone, leaving me in my battered camp and nursing a terrible headache. I end this note with a warning for your missionary travels, Itsuki. Never invite a Nova kid to tea. Yeah, considering that they are living stars, uh, yeah, their, their drink of choice is going to be intense. So yeah, it's the same one over again. Alright, lovely. Let's see. Uh, I don't really need that many more teleporter cores. I have plenty. Alrighty. That tells me that was a glitch item, but he said ye oldie. But, hey, it's fine. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, fine. It's between these, so I can't scan it. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine and dandy. There we go. Very, very good. I know this is a uh, glitch item, so I'll leave that alone. Can you actually open these? No, okay. Oh, hang on. Easy now. Lovely. Yep, yep. Uh, yep. I believe I need 48 for my last one. Wow, goddamn, you are bright. Or just very intense. Okay, that side. Again, I know that that's no or uh, glitch stuff. All right, lovely. Somehow I've scanned that water pump already. I didn't think I had, but okay. All right, up and away we go. Because it's not that big a deal. Hey, buddy. All right. Hey, ow. Okay, cool. Thankfully, we're on a fairly low-level planet, so it's not that painful. Alrighty, lovely. And you can get more than just money from those things. You can get, um, pixel... Or, well, pixels is money. You can get bandages, is what I meant. Uh, please be a desert and not a... Baron. I think it's a desert. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool beads. Alright, nothing up there, but down here. Alright, lovely. Ah, okay, good. I will definitely take that. I eh, don't really care about that that much. Uh, I'm just going to use my spike sphere to get out of here. Alright, lovely. Beautiful. Alright, on our way. I'm just gonna jump up here. Ah, come on, let me up. Alright, very good. What do we got? I don't think I have one of these yet, so I'll take it just to have it for funsies. Ooh, Saturnian stuff. Hey, boss. Uh. Ooh. Eh. L roughly 12, so not worth it. And none of that looks decent, so I'll leave that be. You can take that. This, that, that. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Uh, I'll definitely take that. Thank you. If I can get free stuff, that'll always be beneficial. That's part of why I was determined to check this out, because I had a feeling they would have some random shit in there that I used during everything, really. Alright, lovely. Off we go. Thank you, friend. Just trying to make sure I don't accidentally t throw myself off a ledge here. Are you nice? No, you're not. What kind of structure is this? Blitaren! Alright, lovely. I don't remember if Blatarin ever have anything. I don't think they do. Alright, lovely. But a lot of their stuff is like wrecked stuff. So I definitely want to look for at least that. Alright, not gonna skip. Well, actually, I can because that would be Hylodal, not. 
anything else. I do like those lights a lot. I might use them on the Xenomorph part of my ship, or at least partially. Ah! Yeah, I don't think there's ever anything in the Terran lockers, unfortunately. Because, yeah, we would definitely have stuff in there by now. Hey, bud. Nope, not, not here, at least. Because I probably have the stuff that he wants, I just don't care. Let me scan the platforms. Okay, whoa, easy now. Alright, beautiful. Also, for context, these are some of the cannon sloped shelving units and everything. Or, uh... Uh, oh, brain cell. Paddling. Again, I don't know why I'm checking. I know there's nothing. Oh, well, shit. Didn't mean to do that. That's fine. It's not the end of the world if you, if you scan something that, you know, might be relevant later. It's just... A personal thing that I don't do. I think that's adorable. Oh, nope, that's also an Apex thing. Oh, well. Oh, hey, bud. You have cute little antenna. Okay. Only because I know I have it. Okay, hang on. Let me put down my flag. This is why I carry them, by the way. So, if you've never played, go ahead and hit E. Bookmark it with whatever. I usually say yo. Go ahead and beam up to your ship. I'm also going to drop off some stuff while I'm here. Alright, lovely. There we are. Oh gosh, I have a lot of blocks that need dropped off. No, no, no. Come back here. Very good. Alright, cool. Very, very cool. Let's make sure there's nothing over here that needs to be put in there. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Probably gonna need to get a new blocks just here in a second anyway. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I need sugar and pearl peas. Alright, and then you go through your teleporter to get back to it. Alright, lovely. Okay, where are they? There you are, darling. Okay, Pearl PJF. Yes, I can do that. I probably should have known and just <clears throat> made it myself, but it's fine. Okay, our kitchen stuff is over here. Alright, lovely. There we are. Okay, cool. I'm just going to jump up here. No, 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 no. Not lamp light. Normally, yes. Right now, no. Alrighty. Beautiful. I'm just going to jump. Yes, I can do that for you. Hey, buddy. Okay, they didn't want to be my friend, but that's okay. It wasn't that difficult to request. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let me go ahead and pick that up. Because I know I may need it later, but I don't care right now. Alrighty, lovely. Oh, hello. That might be nice for... Ooh, that's really cool up there. Hang on. Ah, well, actually, no, that's good. No, the other way. Okay. Cool, 
cool, cool, cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it, but I want it, so. That's fine. Again, I just need to keep in mind that. Uh. I don't know what the fuck I was gonna say. Anyway, it's fine. This is actually a pretty sizable Blaterran village. Oh, hold on. Okay. That one's... Okay. I, I don't really care that much. Alrighty. Lovely. Okay. We're over to the rest. Or, uh... Hang on. Is there... Yes, there is, actually. This is healing water, by the way. You can still drown in it, though. So be careful. But by this point in the game, you should already have your... breathing EPP, so... No big deal. Alrighty. Lovely. Okay. Cool, cool. Eh, sure. Very good, very cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Definitely. I don't have a music chest yet. I mean, I'm sure I could pick one to make into my music chest, but I don't want to. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, well. I can't remember if these ever have anything underneath them. I don't think they do. Excuse you, rude. There we are. Alright, lovely. I'm gonna jump over these. Okay, let's not fall down to our death. That would not be good. Hey, little dudes. I don't think they saw me. Well, that one did. Oh, hello. Alright, cool. What you got? Sure, I'll take that. Could always use the copper wiring. Alrighty, lovely. Get there. There we go. Bleh. Words. Uh, hey there, boss. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I do have some seeds to sell. Uh, that's it. Alright, thank you. Oh, okay, we're back. Let's start. Cool, cool, cool. Very good. Very good. Ah! Okay, we're fine. But yeah, now we can actually be a little more... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it should be a little bit easier to go get, uh, deal with, like, crewmates and tenants and shit, because we don't have to worry about them as much. That's not the right tab. This is. Thank you. No, 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 no. Keep that with me. Thank you kindly. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Got some food stuffs to put away. Good, good. I don't think I have any weapons on me. No. Or I do, but not ones that I want to put away. No clothing either. Deco, however. Okay, that's good. I could go there. I need to put these in the build your own ship chest. Alright, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. Yeah, let's go ahead and go uh, talk to the... Let's also de delete that. It won't work anyway after you pick the thing up, but you still need to delete the... Who's the what's it? Alright, anyway. Let's go chat to our uh, buddies here. Alright, lovely. Especially now that we can hire people again. Alright, very good. 
Very, very good. Yep, thank you. Okay. Thank you kindly. Hey, bud, where are you? There you are. Okay, howdy. Thank you. I, th I was gonna say, I thought I saw them just around. Alrighty. Thank you. One of these days I actually need to make that so it's properly done. This is Amethyst area. Okay, that's fine. Amethyst, where are you, darling? Amethyst, there you are, girl. Okay, cool, cool. Let me out. Very, very good. Okay, cool. Very good. Where are they? There you are. Thank you, darling. And I am debating on hiring and then firing those two. The medic and the tailor that I have, but... Because they're, in my mind, so valuable, I don't like doing that unless I've suddenly got, like, a billion of them. Because, yeah. Alright, thank you. Just speaking of, this is the one that I was talking about. Alright, thank you kindly. This is an avian, there they are. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Okay, this is one of my Splatoon characters. Obviously not her. Where are they? There you are. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you, and... No, sorry. Yeah, just because I can take quests from people doesn't mean I'm going to. I'm still very finicky about stuff like that. Let me out! Alright, lovely. I forgot that I had rolled a new tenant for here. That's all I wanted. There we go. Alright. Thank you for the shield. I will sell it. Let me out. Alright. Thank you. But yeah, like, unless I see one that I really, really like, I'm not going to mess with them. Okay. Thank you. I see these before. I have, okay. Because obviously I've come through the colony before. Or... I don't know how I was trying to say that, but... I have visited the colony before. There we go. Hey, bud. Sure. Hi, little furniture. Hi, little furniture. We'll do this one up here, above us. Because even it, just because it sca or spawns a certain species doesn't necessarily mean it is of that species by the game's logic. Hey now, come on, where are you? Where are they? There you are. Alright, lovely, beautiful. I don't know if they're going to be my friend after that, but... 
We'll see. We shall see. Oh, but you're a soldier. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna hire them to fire them. Because I do not like soldiers. Because they do absolutely nothing for the crew. Well, again, unless you are planning on bringing them down to different planets. Alright, so, let me go ahead and show you how to do it. For those who don't know. So, you go over to your sail, wherever that may be. Through. Click on them. Make sure it's the one you want to dismiss. Dismiss. Alright, lovely. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Hop, skip, and jump up here. Back down. Alright. Lovely. Let me in. Thank you. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, that's the only way to get rid of crewmates that have already been spawned in. You can't just, like, remove their thing. Trust me, I've tried many a time. Because that's how you normally get rid of tenants you don't want. But crewmates, they're special. <laughs> they will just wander around, and then you'll have a bunch of new people at the colony. Alright. Which, some people like to do that so they can get lots of, you know, tenants without having to use as many things, but they also... If they, if you're on a colony where they can get hurt and they die, uh, well, I guess that would be one way to take care of them. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Because I don't really have a theme in mind for this ship, per se, uh, as far as crewmates. Like, I don't know if I want to do, like, lots of, like insect based stuff or what but I think I'm just kind of gonna go with whatever alrighty hey buddy thank you uh, can y'all move no alright lovely lovely beautiful oh that's right God, I had respawned you, because that's where my tailor was. Alright, lovely. Okay, alright. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Just say, please don't re or close that door in my face just before I can do anything. Alright, thank you. Okay, alright. Thank you. Let me out. Okay. Thank you. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Where is Anton? I thought I saw him not too long ago. There he is. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Okay, all right. And then we'll uh, clean up our inventory and uh, go explore more planets. So we'll probably do the high loadal mission tomorrow. Because, I mean, why not? I just need to get more healing items. Alrighty. Hey, bud. Sure, I'll do that for you. 
just let me deal with this one first. Alright. So, he is like in the second or third row from the bottom, I think. There he is. Hey, 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 Come back. Thank you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hey, pal. Yeah, gotcha. Hey, stop closing doors in my face. Weird. Okay, where are you, bud? I hope you're on. Nope, you're on the other floor. Damn it. I really do need to, like, color code the floors. But it's fine. Not that that would help anyway, because I would regularly forget who was on what floor. Yes, I can put this in your house. Here you go. Yes, you can be on my crew. I think. As long as you're not, like, one of the ones that has the... Uh, how do I phrase it? The, uh... Like, jump boost chem. And in that case, I will immediately fire him. Okay, let's figure out where he came from. I think he was here. Where were you, bud? Where did he come from? Because his, his deed will be off the wall. Where did you come from, buddy? come from okay okay obviously not there come on let me out not there I'm checking this side because this side's easier to check okay Oh, I think I know where he came from. I, I bet he's part the the one that had the peacekeeper room over here. No, that was a Diwali. What the fuck? The only point. No, stop. Okay, hang on. The only place that he theoretically could have come from then is here. No, so not there. Well, not theoretically. This is also an option. Because none of the deeds are missing. Where the fresh hell did that motherfucker come from? This is very weird. Um. I, I genuinely can't figure out where he came from. Hey, bud. Sorry, I'm confused right now. Because uh, I didn't pick up the colony need either. Okay. No, that's not a good sword. I should sell it rather than do that. But okay, let's let, let's go check and even see what crewmate he was. Like if, what boost he provides. Okay, damage boost. Gotcha. Or the, the beast boost, whatever the hell it's called. 
Okay, well, I'm confused, so I'm gonna go sell some stuff and then go find a planet to mess with. I'm ideally hoping for more, um... Well, I can technically afford the fake sparrow license if I wanted it. Not that I need it. Alright, lovely. That means... Uh... I'll just put that with my deco stuff, I guess. Because I already have a complete set of wave... Or not complete set, but I have a, enough wave furniture... Ah. To make things work. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, do I have any new mats? I have a bit. Blocks, no... Food, not really. Weapons, none that I need. Clothing, no. Deco, however. There you go. I should plant that tree, but I don't care right now. Alright, let's go find us a planet. Ah, up and over, lad. Okay, let's see. Let's try this one. Alright. Arid planet, that's fine. I could also go uh, fuel harvesting because my matter manipulator is definitely decent. Okay, lovely. Beep, there we are. Okay, off we go. Hello. Thankfully you're nice. Sure. Sure. Don't care. Uh Okay, there's nothing really that important up there. Okay, lovely. Oh hello. Ow. Ow, hey now. Buddy. Okay. I should also collect plant fiber to make more bandages. Just so I don't have to constantly waste my, uh... Well, everything. Alright, back up. There we are. Lovely. Hey, buddy. Okay, cool. Hey, pal. Okay, good. We got the pattern decent there. Plotting out. Aha, hi. Hey, pal. Lovely. That's an SCP. Hello. Cool beads. some bone boo which I haven't collected yet on this file all right cool, cool, cool I will take that I will take that that's fun but I'll just keep it for the uh, for the whatever all right lovely I could have probably gotten out of there without doing that but I don't care we'll bite hold on this on there. okay lovely Alrighty, cool. Yep, 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 don't care about that. Alright, lovely. So yes, the answer was I could have done that. Alright, whether or not I wanted to, that's neither here nor there. Excuse me. Usually if you do it quickly enough, you will, you know, not swap between each, so you'll just hit the one that has what you need. Alright, lovely. Trying to make sure I don't... Okay, 
I'm actually going to do this because it's going to be easier. All right, lovely. Well, let's do it again. Okay, beautiful. Hello, bone chest. Hey, Jeff. Good to see you. I think I'll bring him with me because he's fun. I may even make it so that he's... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Alrighty, very good. He's actually one of the ones I was looking for specifically. I don't remember if there's anything on top of this one. No, okay. Lovely, beautiful. Let's see. Saturnia? Or Wasp-Bib? wasp, -bib. wasp -bib. Alright, lovely. Sure, I'll definitely take the silk. Oh, wait, wait, take that. Yep. Yep. Alrighty, lovely. And yes, this does look like a bee or a wasp. It's very cool. Ah, hang on. Lose my mind, it's fine. I don't think I've ever seen one of these spawn in a bone biome before, which is kind of cool. Alright, lovely. Just pick it up to look at it. Pretty sure I already have this one here. Yes, that's the one that's just like buzz, 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 buzz. Okay, cool. Uh, just pick it up to look at it. Oof, sorry. Very good. That will make noise. I guess we've already found one of these before because, yeah. All right, lovely, lovely, beautiful. Sure. Definitely take the glass, no questions asked there. I don't care about that. Also don't care about that. I'll take that, thank you. Okay. Just buzz, 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 buzz. Basically talking about language and stuff. Alright, lovely, beautiful. Another one. Let's see. Don't care. Okay, same thing. And lovely. There we go. Alright, cool. Okay, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hello, what do you got? Oh, good lord, no. Again, we already have that. Okay, nothing there. At least nothing for us. Alright, cool. Alright, lovely. Okay. I will definitely take that. No questions asked there. Even though I don't think I need it anymore. I will definitely keep it. Alrighty, lovely. Still got more. Which isn't bad, it's just, you know, a thing, you know. Okay, cool. What you got in here? And I could totally register that teleporter if I wanted to, I just don't. Alright, what do we got? I don't care, don't care, don't care. Because there's nothing, but, you know. Alrighty, lovely.
Yeah, the wasp um, settlements tend to be deceptively large. Because you wouldn't think they would be. But they totally are. Alright, excuse me, darling. Excuse me, I need this. Thank you. Don't really care. I'll take that, sure. Because every playthrough where I've decided I don't need the Paternian blocks is the playthrough that I decide to build with them. Because I've actually grown... Hello, friends. Hang oh, on. I've actually grown rather fond of building with them. Uh, but it is what it is. All right, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. I need that, gimme. There's our last candle that we needed. Hey, little dude. Ow, I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's see. Hey, bud. Ah, damn it. Okay, lovely. I think this might be a... Well, fuck you too, I guess. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Okay, that should be better. Yep. Uh, the barren biome. Which is unfortunate. Because they're just boring. I mean, sometimes they'll have settlements, but that's about it. It's a really weird drop-off there, but okay. Alrighty, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. Up and over we go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I do like that the dirt's like mint green. I think that's green anyway. I think I've talked about it before. I really struggle with the difference between blue and green. Uh, perfect example. Gonna have a little bit of a throwback here, but if you've ever played Neopets, the quote-unquote green Gellert, visually, I cannot tell that's green. Like, I don't know if it's because of the way I define the colors in my head or whatever, but to me, the green Gellert is, like, not seafoam green, but seafoam blue. And I remember being infuriated about it as a child because the shades were not consistent across the species. But again, it, it is what it is. Also, you know, I mean... There were many times where they just changed the visuals completely. Like, I mean, I think if you lo look up what the Bruce Neopet originally looked like, it's one of... It, I Most people who have played Neopets for a long time already know, but I highly recommend looking it up because it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, hello. I don't think I've ever actually found this one before. In order to appreciate how far humanity has come, one must take a journey through our history. The, 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 the discovery... The desire to discover, pioneer, and prosper has always been our strength and was a common value amongst the diverse populace of Earth. This passion often erupted into conflict when our tiny, or when combined to our tiny, or confined to our tiny planet, blinded by greed, we stripped Earth bare of its finite resources. Though the tapestry of our past is stained with bloodshed and times of strife, ingenuity is humanity's saving grace. As technology improved, we were able to travel further into space, and by the time we encountered other sentient life and plentiful resources, we were forever changed and lightened by these discoveries. We became united in our goal to establish the Terran Protectorate here on Earth and a Sebastian of peace and acceptance throughout the entire universe. Well, hmm. R.I.P. Okay, cool, cool. Alrighty. Very good. Yes, I will take that. Excuse you. Gimme. Thank you. Uh, he's not what I'm looking for, so no. 
Alright, lovely. Oh. Uh, I didn't realize I'd already found one of these on this file. Oh well. Ugly dogly. Let's see. I will definitely take that even though I don't need it. I'll just hold that for a second because I never use it. Alright, let me out. Okay, looks like we're getting ready to switch, yes, back into a normal biome. Not that barren biomes aren't normal, they're just not what I'm after, you feel me? Alright, lovely. Okay, and now we're at the end. The obvious indicator, by the way, for how I know they're at the end, is the, uh, the vans. They don't put those anywhere but the end of a village. Alright, lovely. Beautiful. Let's see, what do we got? I hear some of the rock guys. But where could they be? Hey, little dude. There you are. Okay, cool. Yeah, like I said, if you can get into a good pattern, you're usually alright. Alright, that's fine. Let me stretch. Oh god, my back. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make some woven fabric. And make some bandages. Cool. Good. Again, we're not going to do the thing today, but... Alright, lovely. Beep, pop, beep, pop. It's fine. Yep, cool. The materials can go in here. Lovely. Blocks, I'm sure I have several. Oh, yes. Thankfully, they're all blocks that I really want slash need, so... Here in a second, I might, uh... Continue building up the... Who's and what's it? Oh, hang on, I have some mats that I... Did it put in here? There we go. I also, really quick, want to make some black dye. Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, cool. Now he matches a little more, so it looks like I have, like... I don't know. He just matches more, so he looks nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put the bottles away. Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, hopefully. Okay, I already dealt with the food and the weapons. Clothing. Beep up. And we can move these. Alright, deco. Nope. I, the only thing I have is something that's already spoken for, so... Okay, cool, cool, cool. We should also go put some of our SCPs away, because we got several. Okay, lovely. Alright, beautiful. Now that's done. Good. Uh, like I said, I might go and start working on these. I'm just not sure yet. Cool. Alrighty then. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Farms. Well, actually, this one should be fairly easy. It's easier to come here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I mean, I still should have counted it out, but it's okay. It's all right. Cool, cool, cool. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Lovely. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Thankfully, this is going well. Also, my spouse and I, uh, because sometimes we don't know what to watch when we're having uh, dinner, but uh, because it's available on Tubi, we will, like, it's not like a dedicated rewatch, but we've been making our way through the Beast Wars series, because I watched it when it was airing. As a kid. Matter of fact, I mentioned it to my mom and she's like, yes, you guys were insufferable. And I'm like, I always forget that I was a bit, bit I was into Beast Wars as a kid. But again, like I said, Transformers is one of those fandoms that I've been in for a long ass time. Uh, but, uh, uh, one, I forgot how genuinely, like, fun it is. Two, I vividly remember hating Rat Trap. I don't know why the fuck I hate Rat Trap. He's the best. <laughs> Because, like, somehow they managed to balance the kind of, like, coward, like, character that normally gets on my nerves. And, like, kind of very, quote-unquote, selfish. I don't know how you want to phrase it. But, uh, but they balance it really well with still making it so that he doesn't feel like a fucking terrible person who's just like constantly abandoning his friends because he'll whine and gripe about it but you know and, and again this is just season one so far but you know he still is like yeah all right fine sure you know <laughs> he's not happy about it but he won't you know disobey a direct you know whatever all righty and this is something that i've always been very happy about i actually really think that a lot of the designs in beast wars are surprisingly interesting like i would love to see them redone with like i don't know the prime crew working on them because genuinely they are like actually really cool designs all right lovely lovely and especially because they don't tend to hold to a lot of the traditional conventions that they have for uh, Decepticons and Autobots. Like, obviously, probably one of the most well-known differences that they had was they chose to give Optimus red optics. Um, and in fact, a lot of them do have red optics, which used to be... Oh, only the, the Decepticons have them because they're evil. They're only evil people can have red eyes. You know, that kind of shit. Um, but that's something I just find very interesting. Alright, lovely. Beautiful. Also, one of the things that's really funny to me is the amount of damage that they put these knots through is kind of hilarious. And then you'll see things that, like, in other cannons will kill certain bots. Um, in Beast Wars, it's just like, oh, I'm walking off. I mean, literally, uh, the amount of, like, bullshit that they put Waspinator through that he, they're just like, you'll, you'll be fine. Um, like, he's been exploded, like, multiple times. And I mean, like, to smithereens destroyed um and then just the next episode they're like hey waspinator's back like okay very resilient little thing aren't you and while it can grate on my nerves sometimes there is i do appreciate the kind of 
Looney Tunes adjacent, uh, like, mindset that goes through a lot of the uh, theories. Because it's fun, you know? Stupid, but fun. And to me, like, much like uh, any media that started out as objectively silly or quote-unquote kids media needs to remember is it's okay to be goofy. Like, yes, obviously they've got a lot of, like, more serious for adults TM uh, Transformers lately, but, like, at the end of the day, it is a show about transforming robots, and it needs to remember that. <laughs> And also, it's another one where I usually really don't like the general uh, way that Optimus is, like, delivered on. Partially just because I find it's very boring when it's like, oh, he's, you know, uh, very stalwart, very whatever, very quiet, whatever. And again, that's not bad. It just gets really boring really fast, and it kind of turns into this thing where it's like, oh, yes, he's just our... Very generic character, doesn't have a lot of personality, X, Y, Z. Um, but that's why I really appreciate um, shows like Beast Wars, TFA, and even Transformers 1. Because they're like, look, he's... Yes, he's like a good guy. Yes, he can be very stoic and whatever. But he is still like okay hang on uh just as much of like has just as much personality as everyone else the only show that i think really handled the kind of stalwart quiet whatever for prime well was well prime um but that's also because like They did a fairly good job at getting us invested in, like, how he was before. Which is, he was still very kind of quiet and gentle-spirited, but they basically made it clear that it's kind of different for them, you know? Once the, in Prime, when you're chosen as a Prime, you kind of... You're a little different, you know? Um, but... Generally speaking, I like it when they give Optimus more of a personality. Um, and also, he's not necessarily my favorite as... Insofar as his actual role as Megatron. I fucking love uh, Beast Wars Megatron. He's so fucking funny. <laughs> like, every fucking time, he just makes me laugh. Um, and I really appreciate that, you know? Alright, lovely. Because Beast Wars as a concept is already kind of silly. Just like, you know, Transformers as a concept that's silly. Uh, and I'm saying this with all the love of my heart. I'm saying this as a massive Transformers guy. Like, uh, the concept itself is a little goofy. Um, uh, Okay, cool, cool. Four. One, two, four. Uh, but that's something that I appreciate very much, is that they remembered, hey, it's Transformers. Transformers by it, in and of itself, is already a little silly. And now we're making them transform into animals. It's fine. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still stuff that drives me absolutely up a fucking wall about Beast Wars. Like, a lot of the ways that, like, uh, just fossils and things are presented is deeply infuriating. <laughs> but it's not in a narrative sense. It's just purely a, like, that's not how that works. But it's fine. And again, one of the greatest benefits that in my opinion one of the biggest missteps that most Transformers series make is when they're like oh you know I know this show is about you know 
uh, transforming robots. But we totally got to have, like, a million different random humans, for some reason, that are actually, actually like, plot inte integral to the plot. Uh, one of the few shows that I actually really... And I will say, this is for the first half of the season, because the second half of the season had different writers and animators, and the quality dipped severely, and it's still one of the things that I mourn daily. But Transformers Earth Spark did their humans really well. Especially because when you have characters that young, it can be very easy to make them infuriating. Because, um, like, even though I love TFA, there are times where sorry drives me crazy. Um, but again, I've talked about this before. Unlike Prime with Miko, at least Sari has the excuse of she's not only young, but she's very sheltered. Um, but, uh, there are times where I'm still like, Sadi, I need a moment. <laughs> I can't handle you right now. Um, but Earthspark originally handled that extremely well. Um, I, I was very impressed with how much they got me to, you know not only tolerate the human characters, but actually, like, enjoy them, you know? Um, and especially, like, it can be really difficult to get me to, like, the kind of, like, kid characters and anything, really. But I actually really liked, especially Mo, uh, the girl. I, I really liked how they handled a lot of their characters and then season two was by different writers and basically just kind of took all of the things that was really good about earth spark and just kind of stopped paying attention to it you know like yeah am i excited that cosmos was in it sure am i excited that weird al yankovic got to voice another transformer uh, yes, because uh, for those who don't know, Weird Al Yankovic has a long history with Transformers because I believe it was for the original movie, but he actually was brought in to do music for them. And then later in TFA, they were like, hey, we have a character called Rekgar. Do you want to come and voice him and like basically just make him your Transformer soda? Um, to the point that there's a point where Ratchet is yelling at Rekgar. He's like, are you stupid or something? And he goes, I am Rekgar, and I dare to be stupid. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I say that with all the love of my heart. That's a good thing. But, uh, uh, but they brought him back to voice Cosmos, uh, which was a phenomenal choice. He, he is a wonderful, uh, Cosmos. Um, uh, but unfortunately... My big worry is they're going to keep this current crew of writers and animators that, to me, just didn't hold up to the what made the previous series so shockingly good. Because I always go into every single Transformers series with the expectation that it will be a stupid children's show, okay? Like, I always temper my expectations because if I get too excited, then I'll be disappointed when I don't like it. So that when I went into it, it was actually, like, genuinely really fun. And again, it's still clearly a kid's show, but, like, it had a lot more finesse and quality than I was at all expecting. Um, and then I went into the most recent batch of episodes and just thought all the intrigue that they were building on. Nope. And it was really infuriating. All right, lovely. But I will say, very excited we got to do, um, I don't know if you want to call him a Beast Former or a Dinobot or whatever, but uh, very excited we got a new one. All right, lovely. And very excited that he was a Pachycephalosaurus specifically, even though there are some... Or was he a... Diggy, I don't remember. Hang on, I have to answer my own question now. Let's see. He is a Stiggy Bullock. 
or Bullock. I forget how it's pronounced, but he's a sticky. Which I believe is a type of Pachycephalosaurus, to be fair. But. Alright, lovely. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. All right, let's see if there's anything else that needs to be done over here as far as the actual... I think we have finished the outline. And again, I could go bigger. I don't want to. There's really no point, personally, in my eyes. Okay, I think we're square. I mean, obviously, we need to do the background, but that can come later. Yep, okay. I'm happy with that. Alrighty. Lovely, beautiful. And like I said, the background, I'll make it look like it's kind of melding into the whatever. But anyway. Uh, we don't have a ton of time left, but let's find another random planet to go mess around with. Alrighty, lovely. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I could go over to this forest question mark. I don't know which. Okay, anyway. It's fine. Yeah, forest. Okay. Cool, cool. Beautiful. Down we go. And again, I need to decide what doors are officially going to be in this, but for right now it's fine. Alrighty. Beautiful. Okay, I hear the little rock dudes. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I do this. Alrighty, lovely. Up and over. Hey, buddy. Beautiful, lovely. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Alright, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Away we go. Hey, buddy. Okay, bye-bye. Alrighty. Lovely. Try not to die. Alright, beautiful. Hey now, hey now. Ow, shit. Sorry, little dude, I did not see you there. Are you nice? Good. Okay, cool. Uh, swamp. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'll scan this, because I'd like to have that in the, uh, hive portion. Alright, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. I see you down there. Take that, don't really care about the other stuff. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, cool, cool. I need to go grab these, just so they're not causing problems to him. Okay. Cool. Cool. Use that. Alright, lovely. Up we go. Come on, get on out of there, you. Alright, up and over we go. What you got? Nothing that I care about, gotcha boss. Lay down. Alrighty, lovely. Uh, don't really care about any of that. No, 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 I don't want that, thank you. Forgot to put my books away too, oh well. We'll do that in a second. 
All right, hop, skip, and a jump up here. Uh, you don't really have anything that I want, so let me just sell you that. And that. No, 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 no. Give me that back. All right, put that back. Cool, cool. Lovely. Okay. Beautiful, on our way. Okay, what do we got over here? Be nice? Cool. You're not nice. That guy's not nice, but he's trapped, so I don't have to worry about him. Oh shit! Well, thankfully you weren't nice, so... My instinct was correct. Ooh, Splatoon. I will take that, thank you. You can have that. Oh, hang on. Just pick up everything so that I can learn how to make it. Not that I want it. Oh, well, apparently that's not anything. Hey, now. Alright. Uh, it's gonna look silly. Yeah, no. Thanks for the offer. And again, I'm gonna pick it up just so I can learn from it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool beads. Let's see. That just has a chair down there. Oh, hello. What's over here? Avian Village? Yes. Which stinks because I can't really do anything. But that's fine. They'll be next after the... Uh... Pilot mission. Alright, lovely. I'm not gonna break through the floor just to get that. Alright, lovely. I'll take that. Might as well use this. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, alien bio, kind of. Alright. Yep, I'll take that. Gimme. Uh... Already know that, gotcha boss. Oh, easy now. Okay, there's nothing up there. Cool, 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 cool. Howdy. Oh, right, this is this one. Are you nice? Okay, cool. Because you look cool, and I just, you know, want to make sure that we were cool. Let me out, thank you. Or in, I guess, technically. Already have that. Alright, lovely. Nothing there. At least nothing that I care about. Okay, up the... Well, the only thing that's going to be up here are the codexes that I already have, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright, lovely. Okay. Like most avians, I was not born on Avos, but I grew up surrounded by tales of our homeworld. For as long as I could remember, I dreamt that I would one day travel there. It took many years of hard work and discipline to afford a trip, a crucial part of an avian's pilgrimage. Finally, I made the long journey, and I was truly rewarded. The beauty of Avos is unrivaled in this universe, as Avos once dwelt within the Aether, uh, or in the Aether within the wings of Fluex. Ooh, sorry. Alright, lovely. Okay, yep, I'll take that. Thank you kindly. That's one of the ones that's like this. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, already know that. Very cool, very good. One of these. I uh, don't really care about that. No, 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 I don't need that. I mean, it's not a problem to have it, but I don't need it. Nope, sorry, bud. You are not cool enough for that. Okay, end of the village. Hey, buddy. I'm not gonna bother with him quite yet. Oh, hello. Eh. Nah. I'll take that, however. 
Okay. A little under halfway there. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, nah, sorry, dude. Nothing you have is good. Or, well, for me. I'm just gonna jump over here. Okay, lovely. Hang on. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, well. Uh, we're good, as far as I can tell. Alright, hey, buddy. You're not nice. Unfortunately, because you're kind of cool. Alright, lovely. Now. Yeah, 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 shut up! Oh my gods! Oh my lord! How long does this last? Jesus! Dude, shut up! My fucking gods! I am so sorry, that was so loud. Okay, let's see. Does this one actually have a test? Yes, it does. It's not broken, like some of the others are. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Alright. Cool. Ooh, an SCP, hello. Eh, might as well. But fun fact, that is actually one of the functional ones. Um, and it is really impressive. Oh my gosh, sorry. Stretching. Alright, lovely. Hey, pal. Alright, lovely. Hey, buddy. Ow. Okay, I'll just leave you to your own devices down there. Alrighty. Lovely. Howdy. Grab that. Just because I need to remember to keep grabbing. Hello. I was going to say, I don't recognize you, so you must be the bean bird. Okay. Hey, buddies. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna jump this way. Hey, mean bird. Oh, hello. Sometimes those can have bandages in them, which is why I go after them sometimes. We're not, like, crazy about it. Ow. It's fine. Alright, lovely. Cool, cool beans. That, that. Here, another pop top. Hey, buddy. Alright, hey, friends. Ow. Hey, buddy. Okay, cool. I'll leave that guy alone. I don't even think he can get out of there. Okay, let's see. Okay, hey buddy, hey pal. Oh, okay, we're transitioning over. Okay, this does actually have one. Ooh, and this one actually has a iron chest. Well, that's a lot of nothing that I don't need. All right, lovely. Hey buddies. Yeah, I should have been a little more careful. Hey, friends. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hello. Uh, I wish I had done that before I got that, but okay. Okay, we're back. Okay, let's take the doors, because we always do. Alright. Lovely. I'm gonna go take some of the SCPs over to uh, 116 real fast, because I got plenty. 
All right, lovely. Good, good, good. There we go. All right, cool beans. All right. Yeah, and if it's ones that don't stack, I'll usually go through and purge them every once in a while. Um, but I need to find them first. Alrighty. Hey, you know, I might as well give a tour of the whole site. So this is just generally normal storage over here that we have, I believe. This is considered... Um, like Euclid level storage. Um, if not, uh, I don't know. It's never directly stated any of it. And then you can see over there, we'll go check it out here. There is what I personally believe to be uh, quarters for D-class because there's no st anything to stash stuff in over here. Matter of fact, let me scan that. All right, lovely. No, 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 stop that. Okay, cool, cool. And a lot of this is like Apex stuff, which is why I'm not scanning it. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of different gizmos and uh, cool stuff, but alrighty, lovely. But yeah, that's, that's the SCP mods area. Alright, let me go stash some of the stuff that I picked up before we call it. And then, like I said, tomorrow we'll, uh, do the hello quest. Alright, lovely. Cool, cool. Food. I just want the actual food stuffs, not the seeds. Where did I get banana seeds from? What? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, did I get any new weapons? No. I also need to remember I have codexes to put away. Okay, hang on. Let me trash some of that. Okay, okay. I need to go put away some codexes. Come on. Go on. Alrighty. I'm also going to get her to redo the outfit. Okay. And then the rest of these can go here. Alright. Yep. And then... Yep. Okay, cool. Now everyone has a Jeff. Hooray! Okay. Let me see if anyone's lied the send gel to. Is anyone lied? Nope. I'm just gonna have you guys scatter, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more Starbound, specifically the Hilotal mission. But until then... Bye.